So yeah, here we are again back on Wild of Sleepers. And the same strategy is available to the Zerg player in this situation. Mine out those uh, minerals in the natural, get in behind the wall and wreak havoc. Protoss, I'm really not sure what you can do that's particularly unique on this map. Um, one of the Protoss players in my clan has discovered that if you put a pylon kind of on the high ground, I'll, paint, I'll, well, I'll have a look at it, here, like just around here, you can actually put a gateway down here, there, and two pylons to block off the um, lower wall to defend against that rush. Anyway, back to business. We have got in the bottom left, representing no one but themselves, it is the blue Zerg, Nation. And in the top right, representing also no one, it is the red Protoss, Kira. Somebody needs to get these guys into a clan, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I hear there's a pretty cool clan, uh, clan called Platinum Heroes. Yeah, I hear it's the best one around. I hear it's second best actually. But oh yeah. really? Well, I mean, I, my source is pretty reliable, so. Yeah, it's well, my, my source is Suskin, and Suskin is God, so. How do you beat that? Uh, yeah, that's that's a tough one. Let me think on mm. that. <laughs> is it actually going to be a drone scout coming out for Nation? So that could potentially be a hatch block, as we've seen Dark do a few times in GSL. Um, could actually be a proxy hatch, maybe. Potentially. Nah, I'm just going to be trying to deny the Nexus for as long as possible. Drone will win this fight, so the probe's got to be careful. Uh, not pulling. Oh dear. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. That's uh, uh, tough. Yeah, and now that... Yeah, oh, Jesus. Go. That's a double toughie. Yeah, we'll see what response Kira comes up with. Okay, the Zealot and Krona was a good idea. Yeah, this is just like a perfect response from Kira, I think. Oh, no, never mind. Not... The wall's a bit funky, but... Okay, the wall's very funky, but it'll do. If Lings come across the map, which they are about to do, this could cause some problems, because, like you see, there's not a complete two hex gap in the wall. Yep. Sorry, one hex gap. And yes, Chris B. Bacon, it is me and G. Beta. We had to change our plans only five or six minute. times. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here, we're casting. Yep, about 19 last minute change of plans. Thanks to people not knowing how to read a goddamn clock. <laughs> That drone is still okay, alive, I like that. He's done a lot. Yeah, but these, um, these lings are being quite bone idle. They're just not doing anything, even though they could be going across the map and helping support this drone. Yep. Oh, don't don't tell me he's gonna do this again. Could he do it? Mm. Is it viable to do it again, the block? Well, viable to do it again? No way. Like, no way. What you should just, what you should try and do is yeah, just kind of sit on the, um, on the nexus point location and block it for as long as possible. Then when Kira yeah, tries yeah. to you know, tries to put down a uh, building, a nexus, you build the uh, the hatchery again. This okay. is like the drone that thinks he's a, he's a probe. Usually it's the probe that's super annoying and just it's in your base forever. I mean, Kira, come on. All you had to do was send the sentries after that after that drone and you don't get your Stargate spotted. And oh, Jesus, that's a lot of Zerglings. How did I notice that? Oh, no. That's not going to do anything. Oh, it might, actually. It might. If he doesn't oh, no. lose them all before the Banings are... And he's actually spent both of his force fields yep. that he didn't need to spend. That's actually really bad, because now the Zealot will not wall this off. That might just be game, right there. As long as he doesn't spend the, uh, the Banings. Never mind. Neon does have to do a lot of uh, worker damage here, yeah, though. Yeah, GG anyway. Oh, oh, never mind. GG. He was gonna cancel or like deny warp True. gate before yeah. it finished, so there was no way. Which is one gateway that isn't even a warp gate. Nice play from Neon. Yeah. Well executed rush. Yep. Crispy Bacon would be proud. <laughs> That's for sure. I remember all his races alright. Okay. Well, 
Winter's Gate, that's the one with the slow zones, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, I don't think I played on this one. Oh, I definitely haven't played on this one yet. Um, actually, no, I did play on it once. It was in a tournament. I don't remember if I won or not. Oh, I also played against Loblux on this one. And I, uh, I didn't like the slow zones kind of into the base, but you can go around them, so it's fair. Right, both, both players, players already. <laughs> let's give ourselves our rolls and let's go. Um, I haven't seen much of this, but I would imagine the slow zones, um, where they're positioned is, is for a start, it's really inconvenient. Um, and it would also favor Protoss in these kinds of engagements. But I think Zerg can counteract that by just not taking the triangular third base, even as a fourth or fifth base, you just go straight down the map. Anyway, here we are on Winter's Gate. And on the bottom right of it, we have got the blue Zerg player, Nate Yarn. And in the bottom, or top left even, it is the red Protoss player, Kira. I like this little red glow below it. What, the um, thing that shows the that color of the stone? No, I mean, like, oh, the, the, yeah. the Nexus location. Yeah. With the red crystal underneath, it glows a little bit. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, some kind of uh, I don't know, power source. Probably, oh, Man City yeah. lost. That's a shame, isn't it? What a pity. <laughs> anyway, back to the StarCraft. Gonna be a pull first again from Nahion, this time a little bit later, so... Not necessarily a cheese. Actually looking around for... Potential proxies, I guess. This is a bit weird. Uh, anyway, we're gonna see a double gas coming out of uh, Kira. Which is also quite strange. Both these players going for rather unique builds. Yeah, no, Neon. unique builds. Neon is Not doing. Uh, is using his both of his overlords to scout around the bases. Mm. And again, he's fighting a drone with a probe. It's oh never going to end well. Oh, he's sending two now. Stone Cold Killer. And there's the patch block again. So he's going to have to get a zealot again. There we go, and Chrono it, again. <laughs> he hasn't got a Chrono, so it's going to take longer. Oh, this is painful for Kira. Yeah, very painful. Especially if Nathion goes for the absolute ball and move of cancelling an enemy and building an Evo chamber. Oof. And again, <laughs> the, the wall is really messed up. That's, a, that's such a janky wall, you look at it. I, d I don't want to speak too badly about the player, but, you know, come on. This is elementary <sighs> stuff. I'm not sure uh, if it's just that like Kira's getting put off by what Neon is doing. Yeah, but it seems to me like it's something that he doesn't realize is wrong. At least that's how it seems, because he's made the mistake twice. Yeah, it's true. And there's even a pylon. Well, there's no pylon in the wall anymore now. Yeah, well, now this is a correct wall, because he's put the gateway there. That's actually going to be a very exposed gateway. And all the gate Oh, never mind. Uh, there's some links, but okay, they're not going to get up. Come on, the up, yes. Uh, if the zerts pop out inside, okay, never mind. They pop out outside. So the links will not be able to get free damage. If they popped out on the inside. Then, if uh, Kira hadn't cancelled that shield battery or pylon or whatever it was, anymore, the links yeah. could have had a free reign on attacking these gateways. Going for the full wall of this time. He doesn't want any holes. Mm -hmm. Now, roaches coming out for Nation. A build I like to do with roaches against uh, Protoss is to get like ro the roaches and burrow so like you cancel link speed here and you get burrow instead so you can like get in and steal a bunch of damage because you know every Protoss these days seems to open Stargate and I wouldn't be surprised if Kira goes for a Stargate of his own okay oh, it's gonna be a robot go. so it wouldn't be that effective um, but if Kira did go for what they went further in the last game which was a Stargate burrow would have been quite effective and again, killing the drone too late because it sees the robo, which is all it's got to see. Unless he cancels it and then builds something else. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I agree, Crispy. It's, it's turned out alright in the end. It's a bit of a weird one, but it does work. I don't think he'd have liked to put down three gateways before his first tech building, but sometimes it just, that's just how it be. 
better than dying. Yeah. They say it don't be how it is, but it do. Mm, we've got eight more links in production here. Mm. I, mean, I don't know what he's planning on doing with that. I can't really attack right now. I would say overlord drops, but that yeah, doesn't seem likely. I was thinking that as well as the option he could use, because sending these links across is not going to accomplish much. Oh, here we go. going to be a ninja base for a third. Did that get spotted? Is it crossed? Uh, it might have got spotted by that, um, by that probe. The probe was certainly spotted. <laughs> Someone's gonna come up and have a gander. You get killed, probably. While well, they escape, because they're a lot on home position, is taking his orders very literally. Very literally. Oh, that's actually a good point. It's uh, made by Crispy Bacon. It could be for Nidus, but it's not, because it would have been put down by now. And there's also no gas. Uh, I think it's. Well, actually, he could try and go for a Nidus to link up these bases, like Brood War style. Okay, so it's going to be some kind of all-in with these links and the the roaches. This is just really weird. Is, it won't uh, be successful either, because there's an immortal. If I look at this, is Kira also ramping up for maybe an all-in? With the charge? Also, um, do the control shift thing again, and now control one instead of shift one. Keep forgetting that. Yeah, I'm not used to doing that at all. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, can, I keep getting to remind you. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, this has to be a uh, Bionidas now, which is fair enough. But I don't think Nayon's in the position to Nidus. He's sending an Overlord, but it's uh, a bit slow. Yeah, but what I mean is he hasn't got the army to actually fight. Oh, yeah. You're uh, right. He's Kira's. even making a couple of Hydras on top of this. Well, Hydras are the right thing to go for, because they don't get countered by immortals, but even then... But on two tricky. bases? Well, three bases now. There's a third yeah. in the bottom left. But he doesn't even have all the... He doesn't really have the gas income to support the... All of the Hydras, I would say. It's pretty expensive to... Uh, yeah, he's only got three call. gases, which is very good if you're only going for roaches and ravages. Yeah. But if you want Hydralisks, you need like five or six. And it gets spotted immediately, which is actually probably to yeah, Nyon's advantage. Because if he got his units out, he would have just lost them. <laughs> Thanks, Kira. <laughs> yeah. Good go, Kira. I mean, even if there had been a second overlord in the natural, I don't think it would have made a difference, because Kira's army would just kill Nyon's army. Kira is kind of thinking, or is, I would assume that he's thinking it's uh, a two-base all-in here. Mm. From Neon, but with this night is cancelled, he's actually going back into drum production. Somewhat. Yeah, well, it kind of was a two base all in, but now that it's failed and Kira hasn't gone for a third base of his own, he can try and macro out of it. Okay, if these Hydras catch this war prison, that could be pretty tasty. I think they're just gonna, yeah, they're just gonna pass it. One speculative bile gets fired off, but yeah. he's got good vision in this corner here. Mm. Not so much in the top right corner, but... Yeah, so he'll see it coming in all the way, but he won't have actually anything to deal with it. Okay, Nidus in the main. Probably going to try and pull the army, which did actually work, because the Lings managed to sneak past somehow. I guess that, over, that Ling, or Dallas even, wasn't doing a very good job. And actually, two Immortals are being held up in the main, and Kira hasn't got them on their hockey, so that's not going to be too good for them. You cannot lose all these gateways. But he's going to. He That's still has the army in the has. Yeah. He has to pull that army. Yeah, at this point, just that too. <laughs> the one situation where I would advise doing it. Immortals, uh, oh, sorry. Immortals are uh, keeping to their name. Except that one that died. <laughs> well, we forgot about him already. Almost immortals. Well, th they're Persian immortals. They aren't immortal in the usual sense of the word. <laughs> nice one, right. getting the prism here real quick. Yeah, always a good pickup. 
I lost a game because I didn't decide to kill a war prison when I could have done. It's very sad. Yeah, this pretty much just closes the door on uh, Kira being able to do anything. Unless well, it's anything like a except uh, push. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess that zealot had betrayed the <laughs> homeland. I'm guessing you thought it was a changeling. Just starting to get paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be four storms in this army very soon, which is gonna cause some serious problems for Nathion. But I think the army that he has, it is capable of fighting against storms. And I think maybe Kira has kind of underestimates the army that Nathion has or can have, because he doesn't see this third base in the bottom left. We don't have any upgrades yet. Ah, that's just my that's my, just my regular PVZ to be honest. <laughs> you need upgrades when you got zealots. Gonna see plus one weapons yeah. or missiles finishing in the next minute or so. Actually, an infestation pit going down, so it could be quick brood. Well, oh, not quick, but brood lords. The cave no upgrade there. as well for. Uh... Kira, but he doesn't have a whole lot of adepts. He's got three adepts. He's planning on adding a lot more. Yeah, I guess he's gonna go for. Well, no, he's going for more. Yeah. Maybe that was a misclick. No, he's already got charge. So yeah, I, I guess it's just because Nakeon's going for a lot of hydralisks, and obviously adepts counter hydralisks. So why not? Yeah. Right. Something he's doing a little bit of damage in the third base, but they won't get more than one or two. Maybe three. No. No. I'm always right. Yeah. It's a lesson you must learn. Always right. Yeah, Countess, 11 minute brutal rushes. I, I wonder how many you've lost to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these banelings have baneling speed now, so they'll be a lot more effective. Ooh, but Nahon doesn't actually see Kira moving out. So it's going to be a oh, bit like ships passing in the night. Yep. Oh, but actually the Hydras, the Hero Hydras... Oh, this is going to be perfect for Nail. Just perfect. Now he's completely spread out. I, oh, man. That's a mess. That's such a mess. Oh, nice choke really there, nice but... storm, but... No, yeah. oh, the recall is never going to work. So, yeah, now Kira's in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Nail is going down in the main again, but it's got nothing in it. Everything's going to the third base. An Archon, an Immortal, and a handful of Zelts and Adepts to hold this. I don't think it's going to do it, even though they've got to fight through the, uh, the slow zone. Oh, that's great bailing hits. And GG's called, nice one. GG, well played.